What's up guys, it's me, Packy from the house, and today I'm sure you guys notice from the title of this video that I'm gonna be reviewing some brand new hammer balls. We got the dark web and the ocean vibe. So these two bowling balls, very different. And I want you guys, before I drill, before I talk about them, take a guess which one I'm going to like better of the two. And let's get to drilling. Just like that, we are all done. I put a the I put the same layout on both of these bowling balls. It is a 60 by four and three quarter by 75 degree layout. I'm gonna go test them on whatever pattern they got out there. For the most part, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of shots. I'll bowl one game with each of them, kind of describe to you guys the differences, which one I like, where I see each of these ones fitting in my bag, if they fit in my bag at all. For right now, let's get to the lanes. What's up guys, I'm done with my practice shots and I'm going to be alternating bowling balls. So I'm gonna throw the hammer dark web in the first frame, the vibe in the second, the dark web in the third, and so on, rotating back and forth between balls, hoping I can shoot a score above 200 with these two brand new bowling balls, while in the meantime explaining to you guys kind of just what they do. And while in the meantime showing you guys uh, what these balls do well, hopefully I shoot 200. Here we go, Baker game, two brand new hammer bowling balls. Two frames in, hammer dark web wrap seven, vibe, ocean vibe, flat seven. I think I'm gonna need to probably slow the speed down just a touch, maybe move a little more inside with that hammer dark web. As for that ocean vibe, I'm just gonna need to get my hand a little more around it. The ocean vibe is going really far down lane, so I tried to combat that by rolling it, and I think instead I gotta just slow the speed down with both of them to make sure they read in the right part of the lane. So far, two pocket shots, not bad. Three frames down, I wrapped another seven with my dark rub. Again, need to slow the speed even further down. And then with that vibe moved, I uh, actually sped up a little bit because I know I noticed in practice when I moved in a little bit, they hooked a little more. So I think sped up a little bit to keep it online, but definitely got the hand in the right spot. And then the next frame with the dark web, once again, once again, I didn't wrap seven. I struck this time. So back to back strikes, that makes a double. And hopefully I can go back to back again and catch you guys in two more frames. I thought she wasn't gonna hold on there for a second. Two more frames down. That shot with the vibe was not good, but it still hooked and strike. It still hooked and struck, which gives me hope that I can bring this on some more sports shots. When, it, when I pulled it out of the box, I saw how shiny it was. I knew it was a weaker piece, and I thought it was going to be just a house shot bowling ball. And I can tell for right now, that's not really the case. This is a longer, harder, a little bit flatter pattern. So I knew when I missed to the left, it probably was gonna hang out there and it did, but it had enough pop down lane to get back to the pocket at least and give me a chance to strike. And really that's all you can ask for is a chance to strike, hit the pocket. You never know if you're gonna strike, but you can, you can ask yourself for a chance. And then the very next shot, because my vibe barely hooked, I made the pro move and uh, I threw it slow on accident and I have enough room out there where I think I'm gonna move another two, but that went super high flush. So I'm gonna move another two with the dark web and that vibe, I'm just gonna try and throw a little better of a shot here. So frames eight, nine, and 10 coming up and I'll catch you at the end of the game. Ooh. 
once again, those shots were not my best. The vibe dropped it a little bit off my hand. Bing, bang, 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 bang. As Mike Breen would say, bang, it's good. Right. And then for that hammered dark web, I threw a much better shot. I moved in a little bit and I just chucked it straight to the left where I thought there was out of bounds. Had enough hook potential to come back. So two more frames, two more strikes. Right now I'm looking like it's possible to just a little Kevin Williams eight bagger here on a double. So hopefully I can get the next two. I can wrap my eight baggers t-shirt in next week's video. So two more strikes for the eight bagger. We here, 10th frame coming in. All right, so that was my game, 246. Pretty good. If you guys told me that I was gonna shoot 246 to start my game, I probably would have one laughed at you because I'm throwing a Baker game with two separate balls, so I wouldn't have known. But the Hammer Dark Web overall, very good, very smooth. It's going to definitely be that step down from my Power Torque, kind of in that same slot-ish as my Stealth, but the Stealth is gonna be a little more rolly, whereas I can really chase it in with this Dark Web and still get some pop down lane. And uh, as you guys saw, some of those shots really went high flush. As for this Web, house, shot, Killer is the three words I would use. This ball is going to be, first off, I don't know how much I'm gonna throw it, but I know that all you guys, all you righties out there are gonna absolutely love this ball. Or for those of you who bowl on some, some more hooking type of uh, houses where maybe it's wood lanes, maybe it's just a beat up, beat up in the front part of lanes where they hook early, this ball is gonna float through it and definitely give you enough kick down lane. The only, the only complaint I have is that it didn't messenger the 710, it only messengered the seven. And that's not much of a complaint at all because I still got a spare out of it. So. You know what shirt I'm wrapping next, next week. It will not be the eight bagger shirt because I got absolutely ripped off in the 10th frame. It'll be the team spare shirt, but 246, Baker game with both these balls, absolutely stellar. I can't wait to throw these guys more in tournaments, leagues, etc. because these two are definitely going to both be in my bag, especially on those easier conditions. And this dark web is gonna be in my bag, period. No matter what the condition is, it's gonna be in the bag perfect step down from the power torque. So until the next one, thank you guys for sticking along and thank you guys for coming through this Baker game ball video where I rotate between these two bowling balls and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.